This video is sponsored by Zoho Analytics. More about them a little later. If you'd like to know more about business intelligence, I've put together a quick A to Z for you. And if you think I've missed anything off the list, please let me know in the comments below. Let's jump in. A is for analytics. Analytics is the process of using data and analytical tools and techniques to gain insights and make predictions that drive business decisions. It involves the use of statistical, mathematical, and computational methods to discover patterns, trends, and correlations within datasets. B is for big data. Big data is the term coined in 1990 by John Mashey and relates to very large and potentially complex datasets that traditional data processing applications may struggle to handle. For example, a platform like Facebook records and tracks billions of interactions per day. Big data tools and techniques allow them to store and make sense of all of that data. C is for cleaning. Data cleaning is the process of identifying and correcting errors or inconsistencies in datasets in order to improve data quality and accuracy. Unclean data mostly occurs through manual data entry mistakes or corruption during data transfer. D is for dashboard. Dashboards are usually the end product of the business intelligence process. They are a visual at-a-glance representation of a business's KPIs and other important metrics. They contain current and historical data and allow the business to monitor and track business performance. Dashboards are typically presented in a single consolidated view and allow viewers to filter and slice the presented data. E is for ETL. ETL stands for Extract, Transform, Load. It's the process of extracting data from various sources, transforming it into a consistent format, and then loading it into a different destination, usually a database or warehouse, for analysis. F is for funnel analysis. Funnels are a method of tracking and analyzing the stages that users or customers go through in a process, such as a sales or marketing funnel, to identify areas for improvement and optimization. An example process would be a customer on an e-commerce website, first adding to cart, then providing address information, then adding payment details, and finally purchasing. G is for governance. Data governance is the management and control of data assets. It ensures data quality, integrity, and compliance with regulations. In organizations, especially larger ones with lots of data and employees with access to that data, making sure that everyone is working with the same quality data ensures consistency and provides what is often referred to as a single source of truth. H is for hub. Data hubs are tools that allow users to access data from a wide range of different sources, then extract and load that data into a different destination, usually a database or data warehouse. They are becoming increasingly popular and replacing some traditional ETL tools in a lot of cases. I is for insights. Insights are the valuable and meaningful interpretations or observations derived from data analysis. Upon analyzing and visualizing its data, a business will derive actionable information leading to informed and data-driven decision-making to help a business evolve and grow. J is for join. Data in relational databases is split up into different tables, making storage and retrieval more efficient. However, during the analysis process, data from these different tables often needs to be joined together. In SQL, this is done using common data fields and a join clause. There are four different kinds of join, left, right, inner, and outer. K is for KPI. KPI stands for Key Performance Indicator. They are at the heart of business intelligence. As the name suggests, they allow organizations to monitor how effectively it's achieving its key business objectives. A KPI might be something like total sales, number of website visitors, or social media interactions. L is for lake. A data lake is a centralized repository used for storing large amounts of structured and unstructured data, allowing for flexible analysis and processing. 
It's designed to handle diverse data types and the needs of various data processing and analytics tasks. It can contain anything from text to videos to images to log files. M is for Market Basket Analysis. Market Basket Analysis is a data analysis technique used to identify associations and relationships between products that are frequently purchased together. It's a tool that helps businesses understand customer buying patterns and optimize product placements. So we've come to the halfway point, and I hope you're learning something new. Now is the perfect time to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Zoho Analytics. Zoho Analytics is a self-service BI and data analytics platform that helps business users connect, prepare and analyze their data, create stunning data visualizations and discover hidden insights all within minutes. With a very comprehensive menu of over 500 out-of-the-box integrations for your business apps, from files to big data and loads in between, organizations can bring together and blend all of their data under one roof. Zoho's augmented self-service data preparation and management module allows you to cleanse, transform, enrich and catalogue the data that you want to analyse. When it comes to analysing your data, you not only have Zoho Analytics's intuitive drag-and-drop interface at your disposal, but you can also converse with the smart AI assistant to help you generate automated insights with a single click, predict future trends, do cognitive and what-if analysis, set up smart alerts, and much more. Visualizing your data is effortless using the wide range of chart types available, and with loads of customization options, you can really make them your own. With Zoho Analytics, you can collaborate with users through secured sharing and fine-grained permissions, hold meaningful conversations around reports, make your boardrooms come alive with reporting slideshows, Sign up today for your 14-day free trial and join the other 3 million existing users in exploring your data effortlessly with Zoho Analytics. Okay, back to part two of the A to Z of BI. N is for normalization. Normalization is the process of organizing and structuring a database to reduce redundancy and improve data integrity. It involves creating different tables for different sections or categories of data that are related to each other via common data fields. For example, you might have one table containing sales data and another containing customer data. In the sales data, the customer would be referenced by their unique identifier that has been specified in the customer's table, instead of using the full customer name. This reduces the amount of data that needs to be stored. O is for OLAP. OLAP stands for Online Analytical Processing and relates to a category of tools and technologies that enable users to analyze multi-dimensional data interactively from different perspectives through what are called data cubes. Note that online doesn't actually mean online as you might think. It refers to the interactive aspect of the tools and analysis. Most BI tools like Power BI, Tableau, Cognos, etc. are OLAP tools. P is for Predictive Analytics. Predictive Analytics is the use of statistical algorithms and machine learning techniques to identify future trends and make predictions. In business intelligence, there are lots of possible applications, such as predicting future revenue, the lifetime value of a customer, or when they're likely to stop purchasing or subscribing to a product or service also known as customer churn. Q is for query. A query is a request for information from a database, often expressed in a specific query language. Queries are what lie behind data visualizations in dashboards, a request for specific data that is then used to build charts, graphs, and tables. The most common query language is SQL or SQL, but BI tools sometimes also have their own proprietary language, like Power BI's DAX, which stands for Data Analysis Expressions. R is for RDBMS. RDBMS stands for Relational Database Management System. They are essentially different brands of SQL language products. Popular RDBMS products include MySQL, PostgreSQL, Microsoft SQL Server, and Oracle Database. S is for Scorecard. A scorecard is a visual representation of a key performance indicator or metric used to monitor and measure the performance of an organization. 
is usually a single figure and sometimes contains a comparison against a previous period of time. They are the headline figures that you see on most dashboards. T is for Tableau. Tableau is another industry-leading BI tool. It's also one of the oldest, having been released back in 2003. You could say that it provided the blueprint for many of today's BI tools, including Power BI. U is for unstructured data. Not used very much in business intelligence, so more of a general data term, unstructured data is data that doesn't have any predefined data model or isn't organized in a structured manner. So it includes things like text documents, images, videos, and other non-tabular formats. V is for visualization. Data visualization is the practice of using visual elements like charts and graphs to represent and communicate data patterns, trends, and insights. Visualizing aggregated data allows viewers to better understand large data sets. W is for web analytics. Web analytics involves monitoring and analyzing the performance of a website. A tracking code is installed onto the website that then records data about visitor interactions, such as the pages visited, the time spent on site, etc. The most popular web analytics tool is Google Analytics, and most BI tools have a connector to this data source. X is for XML. XML is a versatile markup language that's designed to store and transport data in a readable format. It uses tags to define elements and their hierarchical relationships. XML is commonly employed for data interchange between systems with different structures and formats. It's also an example of what's called semi-structured data. Y is for year-to-date. Year-to-date is the cumulative total of data from the beginning of the current year to the present date. It is very common to see this period applied to scorecards in dashboards and is often compared against the same date range from the previous year. Z is for Zoho Analytics, the sponsor of this video. Zoho Analytics is a self-service BI and data analytics software that lets you analyze your data, create stunning data visualizations, and discover hidden insights in minutes. For more information and to start a free trial, just hit the link in the description. A huge thank you to Zoho Analytics for supporting this channel. If you'd like to know even more about business intelligence, head on over to learnbi.online. Thanks for watching, and until the next time, bye.